Good morning, everybody. It's that time again for the daily review. So let's see what's happening. All right. So as I said yesterday that I did have to play some games. And I don't want to make it seem like I had to play, but I did have to play. Um, I had only got to play super late uh, because I was just busy doing stuff all day. Man, it's, life gets so, so busy, especially even when you're in the summer, right? So anyways... Uh, let's take a look. I did get to play some Jumpstart, and I got one of my rewards, and you can see I got some good progress towards one of the other ones. I'm going to try and cash in this one from 500, see if we can get another 750. Nope, that's still okay. All right, so these are all really good, again, once again, so you definitely should uh, play those. Let's check out the store. Looks like a hard Hydroid Crisis card style, so they... This, these are still so tempting, but I just don't think I should. Uh, not for me, anyways. Other people might because they have the lands, um, or they don't have like any fancy lands, but it's still up to you. These ones, definitely not worth it at all, uh, so do not get these. All right, and that's pretty much it. So uh, if you want, I will follow it up. I did get to play Jumpstart, and I'll follow it up here with... Uh, I'll show you that plays Smashing Elves. So stay tuned, and I will go through the, the gameplay that I did, and you can see how how long it took. It took me to get to the two wins. So anyways, hang tight, and I'll load that up. So when I started, I could get Witchcraft plus one or uh, Smashing, and I decided to go with Smashing just because red, very often being aggressive in uh, in draft, I, I guess uh, being aggressive is just sometimes really good. And then from here, I could have gone with either one, but I decided to go with Elves because I figured like having aggressive creatures is probably you know pretty good. And I actually wanted the extra cards from Elves um, mainly because my first uh, my first historic deck first uh, was actually. Uh, elf ball deck and you know I do like to play historic elves and so those elves are actually going to help now I actually do enjoy the Allosaurus Shepherd but this this uh, hand has no green mana so I had to mulligan right so you can see then I'm going and yeah I this looks okay because I've got the thriving bluff and I can't play anything on turn one anyways but that f helps fix my mana and then I got a turn two play with that blood rage ogre um, or blood rage brawler right and getting a 4-3 you know just to discard a card is actually not bad you know and you can see on turn two you know and i'm going to get rid of that uh wild heart invoker mainly because um like it is a really good card but i don't have the double green at this time and i'd rather be able to play cards that i can actually get like a board presence on you should always try and play like this is something people do wrong they should try and play on your second main like play your creatures because it lets you represent that you actually have something right so you there you go. So in this case, I my my opponent doesn't have any creatures. I'm just removing it anyways. So yeah, I was able to get through with that creature. My opponent's putting down a few other small guys. All right, and basically what I want to do is hold out and play the Flames of the Rays Boar. Right now I've got a three three, and we could actually two for one. Um, but, so but what I'm going to do is attack and represent. I have something. You know he doesn't do anything. So then I actually. Uh, uh, play the turret ogre. Now turret ogre is actually okay uh, as well. Now I could have played that furious rise. Um, the furious rise is really, really, really good. All right, uh, because just getting extra cards is so good. All right, my opponent doesn't want to trade, and I'm I can actually just go back and forth trading with them like that. And but I'm going to put that furious rise down, and from this point on, I have a serious advantage because I'm just getting so many extra cards. All right, so okay, so I'm gonna I'm, I basically want to stall the game until I can play this Flames of the Rays Boar. All right, so let's go. I'm gonna play the Ren's Run Vanquisher. All right, and then I'm just, um, let's, let's go. I'm just gonna wait. All right, so let's see. My opponent has see. I can still go back and forth, but that zero three is actually a problem. Right, that zero three is just such a pain in the ass, uh, mainly because it can block like all the small guys that I have, right? And in the meantime, he can pick me off, and I can't block. Well, well I guess I can't block with the turret ogre, but all right. So now I could actually use the crushing canopy and get rid of that sky tether, but instead I decide to wipe the board with flames of the raised boar. 
right? So my opponent's empty-handed, and I'm actually drawing a second card, like an, basically an extra card at the end of each turn. So I feel like I still have an advantage. Plus I have a little more life than my opponent, right? And yeah, there we go. So Titanic Growth is very, very strong. Okay, so opponent is going to go in. They are not going to attack mainly because they don't want to trade. All right, so next I'm going to swing. And you see, I'm just going to represent that I have something. My opponent doesn't know what I have. And so I could actually use Titanic Growth here. I probably should have. Um, but I feel like I misplayed that one. Um, mainly, I don't know. Here, uh, I guess it's not the end of the world. But I think I did miss a great opportunity to put some pressure on my opponent. Okay. I feel like my opponent misplayed here and uh, attacked to try and get that stupid 1-1 one, one flyer and I was able to peg it off. Okay, and you can see here he's got a 4-3 flyer. I just happen to have 9 mana now and so I can actually use the Skyway Sniper to kill that thing, attack, and I still draw an extra card. Mainly because that turret ogre just doesn't draw, like does, even though it has, he has defender, um, because my opponent already invested like the sky tether into it, like it still gives me the the uh, the extra card from Furious Rise. Now here I decide to use this, which is a little bit of a gamble. Um, I feel like I probably could have waited until my opponent's step, but this puts a ton of pressure on my opponent. And you can see they obviously didn't have a creature, and so I was able to just actually, you know, win, and they resigned. All right, so. Anyways, that was the first win. I ended up getting Celestial Mantle. Um, I feel like that's just okay. And I got my first win. So then let's go to the second match here and see how I did. Okay, so I was just waiting here for my opponent. Now, one of the things in, um, in Jumpstart is that you can't actually build your own deck, right? Like, you can kind of, but like in a lot of draft and sealed stuff it's like basically how you put everything together but here i decided to keep this four lands is a little heavy but i did have furious rise and i wanted to keep that there so um yeah so that was actually a pretty nice uh pretty nice pickup and i just figured i could probably get a four power creature later right so Okay, so you can see the Silhanna Wayfinder. I'm going to look for a creature that has a four power. And in this case, um, I decided to go with Dwyden's Elite again. Now, I do control another elf. And so in this case, I can get an extra elf token out of it. Right, so... All right, so my opponent's playing these uh, artifacts. Okay, I'm a little bit wary because he's playing blue. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, so... I. Don't want, I don't have the four mana, uh, four power creature yet, so there's no power, no sense in wasting mana on Furious Rise. So then that's why I threw down Dwynan's Elite, and we're going on the Elf Ball tactic on this one. Okay, Nessie and Horn Beetle's a pain in the ass because it can get big uh, pretty fast. So you want to get rid of that one right away. Okay, so put, we're going to use Hunter's Edge and take it out. And then in this case, they're not going to attack because we don't want to lose all our creatures. See, like that 0 4 is a pain in the ass because it can block like almost every one of my creatures. Okay, Pride Malkin is actually pretty bad as well, um, mainly because um, it can, like, being able to put extra things on, like, plus one counters on other creatures is a pain. All right, so in this case, no attacks. We're just biding our time to maybe try and find the mana for Volcanic Salvo. Right, Teferi's Ageless Insight is a pain as well. Right, um, so let's see, we have the mana for it, so we're gonna blow up a few of their bigger creatures, the big blockers, and in this case, we can actually start tra uh, trading. Right, so we can go in, and yeah, my opponent basically traded the Pride Malkin, which is fine, and I end up losing my elf token, but I did get in for three damage, and we're starting to put some pressure on my opponent now. Right, and then Hopefully I can, I'm hoping I can pick up an extra, a four, a four power creature and inevitably I would. Okay, opponent puts the narcolepsy down. Uh, so basically I actually like narcolepsy. It's, it's kind of funny because your opponent wakes up from untapping, but then it actually goes to sleep right away. I don't know why they didn't attack there. Um, looks like they just want to actually keep him untapped. But you can see Elvish Visionary. Okay, so destroy that extra, I want to destroy that my opponent's uh, enchantment there. Okay, so I got Skyway Sniper and Leaf Glider. So again, you can see I'm doing like the serious elf ball tactic here. All right, 
Tome Anima is a pain. And now my opponent probably could have attacked, or I guess they did, uh, but they actually could have attacked with that thing, but they just didn't um, more than I, like they probably should have more than I thought they, they did. They just didn't attack as much as they did. Mainly I think it's because I had the Reds run Vanquisher uh, with Death Touch, but I don't think they knew that their card um, could actually block, uh, or could actually was actually basically unblockable. Nonetheless, um, the other thing is that like, so right now they have this 5-5 five five and I don't think I could block it. Um, but I think they're afraid of the counter swing, right? Um, so I'm going to swing and see if my opponent's willing to trade. If they trade the Tome Anima, I'm actually fine with that. Uh, because I can actually, like they're doing some damage on me, but I can actually get more, um, you know, more like against them on the counter swing. That champion of Lamb Bolt is a pain in the ass. Okay, so here's an important play. All right, so I'm going to play that. I'm going to equip it to the Ren's Run Vanquisher, and now I'm going to attack. Now, my opponent sees that, right, and they're, they've decided now that they are going to double block, right? Now, they have four, they've got actually six toughness, but I think they've forgotten that Ren's Run Vanquisher has death touch here now, and so we end up two for one And now, the important thing is I put that on the that short sword onto my Dwinan's Elite. So now I have a four mana, a four power card. So now I'm actually getting drawing extra cards off the Furious Rise. Now for my opponent, they're in a tough situation now because like you've already put like stuff onto onto that uh, Dwinan's Elite to take it out. You have to use another removal if you have it just to try and get rid of it. Now my opponent does actually have uh, you know, like they can actually kill me in two or three turns, but they have to really be afraid of the backswing now, especially because I've got that ogre, that 4 2 ogre. Okay, so Dwight's lead's going back to sleep. Okay, Hungry Flames. Okay, deals three damage. So here I got a little bit of burn. Okay, so deal three damage. And that Skyway Sniper is so good, uh, doing so much damage against my opponent. And you can see now, right, my opponent. This Wild Heart Invoker is actually really sweet as well. All right, so my opponent's got some good damage on the board. Uh, right of the Flames of the Raised Board in this case does not help because my opponent's just so big, right? Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm counting my mana to see if I can get stuff through. Uh, this Wild Heart Invoker, right, can give itself plus five, plus five. I don't know if my opponent saw that. Right? But nonetheless, if they did, if they did double block or block with the champion of Lambolt, I would have actually just traded. Right? Um, I think it would be worth it. Okay, I probably should have actually attacked with that ogre instead, um, instead of risking my wild heart invoker. But nonetheless, okay, the opponent's playing the truffle snout, and you can see I've got a much better board presence. My opponent has nine, uh, nine life left, but I've got a titanic growth uh, sitting there. And I can give myself plus five, plus five. So I need eight mana for that and 10 mana, uh, another mana for uh, Titanic Growth. All right, so you can see I actually uh, spend a little bit of time just counting my mana, making sure that I actually have enough right, to pull this off because I'm going to lose some creatures here. I, I'm down, my opponent will block my two four power uh, creatures there. They end up, um, they end up actually just uh, blocking here. Uh, they're going to block the two four power toughness, which gets five through for me. So I need to pick up another five, uh, four somewhere else, right? I give it to, yeah, I, I send the mana and give it there. And then just in case I put Titanic Growth somewhere else and end up, you know, end up winning there. So I feel like I, I played pretty well. I got my second victory. And let's take a look. And I forget actually what rewards I got, but I did actually get that 750 there. So there I got some got some rewards, got Corsair Captain, right? And yeah, ended up being pretty successful. So, you know, and then finished the daily reward there, and then I was able to uh, go to bed. So <laughs> that was pretty much it. Anyways, let me know how you think I played in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next video.